Hi, I'm Raw Dog Rory, and tonight I'm going to be showing you some knife skills. So, Amanda, if you'll just hold this cutting board up. Just kidding. Actually, I'm going to show you the safe and proper handling of your kitchen knife. And I'm going to be using my favorite knife. This is a 10 inch chef knife. And a lot of people think you need to pick up a really expensive blade for doing your kitchen work, but I picked this up for $10 at the department store. It works great. The most important thing is that you want it to be sharp and you want to keep it sharp. So at the same time I picked it up, I picked up a knife sharpener right away. And um, this one's super easy to use and you just place it right alongside your table here at the very edge. And you want to stand aside from where the knife's, motion of the knife is going to go. And you want to make sure you have contact with the blade on the sharpeners throughout the whole motion. And just a few times, just like that. And then you got a nice edge on it. And contrary to what a lot of people believe is that a sharp knife is a lot safer than a dull knife. For instance, if I was using a dull knife to cut this carrot, I don't know if this cut's gonna go right through. For all I know, it could roll off and cut me instead. So you wanna use a sharp knife, it's the safest way to go. Now when handling your produce, when you're getting ready to cut, a safe position for your produce holding hand is the claw. You want to hold your fingers kind of tucked in like this and you could even use your knuckles as a guide alongside the knife just like that and you also want to make sure you're tucking your thumb in too you do not want your th tip of your thumb going in your food if you know what I mean um, and the first technique I'm going to show you is making a carrot chip first to start off we want to cut off the tip of our carrot at an angle just like that and now you see we get this nice like diagonal cut here. You just want to go right up against it and oops, get that piece out of the way. And just follow that and scoot the carrot up with the rest of your hand. And you're left with all these nice little carrot chips, which you can dip in your favorite raw dip or um, toss them up with some seasoning, some nutritional yeast, and just have them like carrot chips. Mm. Now, for my next trick, I'm going to show you the easiest way to peel and mince a clove of garlic. When you have a nice flat blade, wide blade like this, you can put the knife blade right on top of your unpeeled clove of garlic and just give a little smash like that. Cut the base off. And... Voila, your garlic falls right out of the peel. From there, you can smash a little further, and then just go right into mincing it. Ta-da! Now, want to move into cutting a tomato. And there's, you know, pretty straightforward slicing a tomato you want it for sandwiches or just to decorate a salad or as a layer in like a raw lasagna it's pretty straightforward but if you want to quickly have diced tomatoes what you want to do is now that we got our tomato cut in half place the cut half down on the board so it kind of just stands there and make slices in your tomato going across and then Just like that. And that produces sort of a nice sliver of tomato. And if you want to take it even smaller, say if you're doing it for a salsa or a marinade, a marinara I should say, you can just go into the mincing motion. And really quickly you got yourself some nice small bits of tomato ready to go. And while we're talking about mincing, let's get right into mincing herbs. Mincing herbs is straightforward, pretty much the same way. Get your herbs together. After you've cut off the excess stem, you want to roll them up, kind of fold them in together. Use the claw. Now that they're in this tight little bundle, it's a lot less guesswork of where you want to cut. Remember, keep that thumb 
out of the way. Now you've got them cut across like that. Go ahead and using this hand to hold the knife blade down, you can rock the knife in all sorts of directions and with a little practice really get up speed there. And next thing you know, got just little bits, perfect. And if you're like some people, you like to use your knife to scrape your cutting board off when you're done with your mincing, always use the back of your blade and not the blade itself, otherwise you're just gonna dull it up on you. And that's it. Hope these techniques help you out and make your kitchen a little, work a little quicker and safer. Take care.